All right, I've been meaning to do this for quite some time. Uh, I want to make an uh, abacus style uh, scores for my uh, shuffleboard table. So all I've done here is I bought, I went to the uh, craft store and bought these beads. They're, they're 5 8 diameter beads. Um, I think the whole diameter was about 3 16 But I did a three step drill uh, and expanded them out to uh, 964. So they slide along this um, quarter inch steel rod relatively easily. So the only thing I need to determine is the length of the rod. I'm thinking it's going to be about 18 inches. But uh, that will allow us to, to keep track and not have to constantly be asking each other, so how many points do you have or whatever, we'll, we'll have it all right here. The other thing I want to do is I want to make them uh, somewhat portable, I guess. They're going to sit on the edge rail of my uh, table and so that when I'm done using it, I, I want to put them away, I can pull them off and put them inside the table uh, and not have them permanently attached. So. What I did here in the last couple of minutes was I took an old piece of tabletop here that I had, uh, had a nice piece of cherry on the edge, uh, ripped that off of there, uh, sent it through my, or you know, uh, uh, ripped it in half, sent it through my planer, ended up with about two quarter inch pieces here. I'm going to laminate that to a piece of Baltic birch and that will give me uh, enough material to uh, make the, the four end caps that I need to make uh, and then um, run these run these uh, steel rods into a into a drill hole but the one thing I thought I was kind of interesting that the ends were mitered on the, and I reinforced them with biscuits and when I ripped it in half I went right halfway through the biscuits I want to show that to you here. That's kind of the anatomy of a biscuit joint, I guess. You can see how much area there is really not being used. Um, so the, the, the strength of this comes basically, I think, from the glue on the top and bottom surface, you know, uh, mating up with your workpiece. So that's the one side and here's the other uh, you know it's tight along this edge but there's plenty of room back here so tight here but look at look at the gap in the back here so I think that uh, you know that kind of gives you an idea what's going on with a with the biscuit joint and um, I that's um, Another reason I've kind of stayed away from them lately here, I've been using dominoes and uh, dowel joints. So let me get the let me get this material glued up, and then I'll show you uh, what I've got in mind with my computer generated uh, program here. So here's what I intend to build. You can see this is the steel rod, my beads, uh, and then these are the two end caps that are going to be made four times but um, the, the the they'll be held together by this piece of Baltic birch plywood and then they'll sit over the rail cap of my uh, shuffleboard table so I can just set them on there use them and like I said when I'm done I'll put them I'll just store them inside the um, inside the cover the one thing I wanted to show you here is that it, the, the virtual world and the real world are sometimes, not sometimes, they're a lot different. But uh, the distance here that I'm looking for is I want that to be approximately five beads. So when I measured my, uh, my string of beads down that I, in reality, they're 12 inches long. And then this section here will be three. So I've got 15 inches um, of uh, open space there. And here, well, let me just check this. I haven't even checked it yet. This is a, 
about well, 15 and a half. So it's pretty close. But there again, it, there, there's a little bit of, of play there that I don't want. So I'm going to shrink it up a little bit. It'll be 15 inches between each of the end caps. Um, the, the part that you do see here that, that I am going to keep for sure is that this will be a one inch um, rabbit or relief cut here by two inches wide. And then the plywood will, will sit in there to, to uh, tie everything together along with that steel rod. Uh, that'll get uh, epoxied into these. And that's the other reason I'm using a sandwich of uh, plywood and um, cherry because if I, this were made out of solid wood there'd be a lot of weak points in that design. finished marking all these uh, I just wanted to show you what I was doing here so I know where the shoulder is obviously so I just leave that uh, tri-square ruler just a little shy of that come out to that end point bring it along until my other shoulder cut just disappears and then stop right on that corner so we should be good so these two will run, the blade will be running this way. The middle one, actually I didn't do that. I'm going to mark that on both sides. I've got it marked on the uh, other side already. So let me show you this one too. So start at that shoulder. Run it along. Till my blade covers just covers that other shoulder. And stop right on the corner. So this one I can cut from either direction. Okay, I've got my uh, sacrificial uh, backer board here. I want to make this in two passes, even though this is uh, my new dado set, this uh, ridge carbide. I'm going to just uh, go about a half inch, make all my cuts, and then come back and do the other uh, remaining portion. And we'll see how this, how this cuts here. I'm going to make, my, uh, I'm going to make a through cut on my backer board first. Does a pretty good job. Yeah, I got a little cleanup here. You can see uh, where I didn't quite get over far enough, but that's no big deal. I'll clean that up with a chisel, and it won't take much time at all. All the corners need just a little bit of a cleanup. Some less than others, like this one here, is very little. But all right, I got them all squared up. I've wrapped my lines around to this side to the uh, bottom because I'm going to split these and then I'll show you how I'm going to make sure that 
these pieces end up being identical. Uh, I'm shooting for three quarters of an inch here. If it's a little bit less, I'm not going to be too concerned about that. But I want that to be uh, exactly centered. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that after I split them off here. 